we need a glass. Shall we play? Round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. It's not here. And here. A gotcha. Wooden sticks instead of hands. Soak the gauze in Elmer's glue. Make the outlines of a ghost. Our ghosts are dry. <laughs> Hang ghosts on fishing lines. Scare everyone in town. Ponies are enjoying a hot day. Here's your order. Thank you. Ah, ghosts! <laughs> Hide! Halloween is coming. Get ready. They left a jack o' lantern. Hmm. Are you ready for a good scare? Do we really look that dramatic? <laughs> Turn this little pony into Morticia. No more pink. Pale skin is better. Wow. Wow, nice eyeshadow. Add blush. Cut out a dress from black fabric. Ready. An elegant train. Morticia has a black mane. Yes. Decorate the outfit with lace. Meet the darkest pony in the world. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Honey, look, a beauty salon. We should stop by. I just wanted to give you a certificate. Whoa. You're the perfect husband. <laughs> I want to become even more beautiful. Mm. Let's go over your mane first. I'll comb the tail and strands well. Nice. Sharpen the hooves. And fix your makeup. Uh. Help yourself. Thank you. Excellent service. Uh, not dark enough, but still. <laughs> <laughs> A pony was just walking through the park. Oh! Ah! Don't be scared, he wants to meet Lalalu. Trim the mane. Remove the tail. Well, that's a funny look. <laughs> Add white cuffs and collar. Wednesday has a black mane. A pair of braids with loops. Wednesday keeps up with mommy. <sighs> Pony appeared at the cemetery. Ah, oh, this place is so peaceful. <sighs> I heard there are zombies around here. <laughs> hey, let's go talk to him. <laughs> zombies! It's Halloween, and no one cares about me. Don't be upset. Here's a treat. Oh, that's so nice of you. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you too, man. <sighs> These kids are way nicer than they look. <laughs> this magic hat is full of materials. Let's start with thick cardboard. Make the table. Polish everything. Some wooden sticks will come in handy. Nice and sturdy. Install the top baffle. Put a box near the gravestone. That is exactly what we need for potions. I'll help out. Let's make it look older. Dried flowers and a potion is a must-have. Hang branches of herbs. Recipes need more materials. Is a witch's book. Full of various little things. Wow. Glue the cap with wood. 
paint everything. A bucket with eyes is a valuable exhibit. Witch's workplace is ready. Oh, come on. Magic doesn't exist. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Today, I will teach you witchcraft. <laughs> Wednesday, put your hat on. My favorite hat. Are you serious? Let's go to the magic table. <laughs> now, my favorite spell for making things come to life. Ugh, it's running! <laughs> yeah, that was good. But I want to try everything myself. Well, let's see. Magic beans. There are a lot of spells. Ooh. Abra -ca beetle. Ow. I think it is a perfect spell. Hmm. Turn me back quickly! <laughs> Abra -ca frago. Abra -ca piggy. That was fun. Okay. Pugsley turned back into a pony. <sighs> Wednesday is a fast learner. <laughs> We have a new hero? Turn this pony into little prankster Pugsley. Paint it a light shade. Draw pants and a striped t-shirt. Let's work on his face. Make hair and a ponytail out of wool. Pugsley is always getting into trouble. Ponies are having fun in the park. <laughs> I can steal ice cream while no one is watching. Where is my son? Hmm. What did you do this time? Nothing special. Here is the payment. He forgets about it sometimes. We're sorry. Okay. You can choose your punishment. Wednesday, don't throw away the packaging, it will come in handy. Turn this case into a basket. Make holes. Go over the face. It's full of candy. Now it is more convenient to collect treats. <laughs> Halloween is here. Oh no, I forgot the costumes. <sighs> it's okay, we'll find something now. We're spooky ghosts. <laughs> Who's knocking this late? <laughs> Trick or treating? <laughs> I do not want to mess with you, that is for sure. Keep the treats. <laughs> <laughs> she had some yummy candies. <laughs> A cute pony came through the rainbow. Abracadabra. Paint the body brown. Add more wool. Even more. Cousin It keeps a close eye on the styling. Bend the wire into a frame. Insert lenses. Make a dress. Fashion It is not complete without a hat. Stylish bow. <laughs> you look fabulous. <laughs> Gomez and Morticia are waiting for a long-awaited guest. <laughs> ah, dear cousin. We've prepared a treat for you. Yummy! <laughs> oh! Oh, uh large! What? Huh? Cousin It is looking for the culprit. A butler is not guilty. Morticia? No? Gomez? Oh, absolutely not. Is that really his fur? <laughs> Classic Cousin It. <laughs> 
cut a template out of faux fur. Paint the inside pink. Cut teeth. Don't put your finger in his mouth. Add blush. This box has a good appetite. Morticia went to the attic for one thing. What a mess. Are there ghosts in here? Hmm. Oh no. This poor thing hasn't been fed in a long time. It's okay, we'll give him a little gold. <laughs> and here is our family album. I found it. <laughs> a plain old garland? Well, that's boring. Finally, it's my turn. Wait, we need paper. Let's get a napkin. Wrap the ceiling. Little Casper. Make a hat out of foam paper. Her ready. Try it on. Nice. Oh, confetti. Drop the ball. Drag the thread and a pumpkin. This paper will come in handy. A pumpkin family. I like this one. Fur was lying around in the puppet theater. Bend the pipe cleaner into spider legs. This little spider is a real fashionista. Let's hang the monsters onto the garland. These garlands will make our party look so cute. Halloween is the main holiday in the Adams household. We did a great job this year. I got the garlands. <laughs> Everything is perfect. One ghost escaped. Catch him, catch him. Oh, these pranksters. <laughs> we caught the ghost. Oh, a spider hat. Halloween was a success. <laughs> Today's a family night, so everyone's here. Let's take a closer look at our characters. Wednesday finally got a friend. Let's turn this doll into her classmate, Parker. Remove the hair. Make a new face out of modeling clay. Shape the eye sockets, lips, and nostrils. Add the eyelids. Smooth the surface with a modeling tool. When the face and the ears are ready, start painting. Cover the whole head with beige acrylic paint. Leave it to dry and then paint the eyes. Add purple eyelids, eyeliner, black pupils, and white spots. Color the lips pink. And paint the eyebrows like this. Oh. Use a white satin ribbon to make hair for the doll. Unravel the threads like this and cut the ribbon. Now we have hair extensions. Glue them to the head. Part the hair on the side. The hairdresser is back in business. What haircut would you like? A bob? You got it. <laughs> Now it's time for the outfit. First, let's outline the doll. Take the doll's measurements and cut out two pieces for the t-shirt. The front and the back. Hot glue the seams and turn the t-shirt inside out. It's a perfect fit. <laughs> Paint blue leggings on Parker's legs. Let me try on the shoes. They are exactly the right size. Cut out a vest out of denim fabric. Make holes for the arms. Bend the collar and our vest is ready. Wow. Oops, looks like 
like I wandered too far this time. I never noticed the gates before. It's so chilly and foggy in here. I need to show it to my followers right away. Hi, Parker. Welcome to our home. How about a house tour? What? No way. Wednesday, it would be crazy of me to visit your place. Let's turn this broken doll into Grandmama. Use clay to shape her face and neck. Put the eyeballs into eye sockets. Make a crooked nose. Work on her mouth. Add an upper lip and a chin. Add upper and lower eyelids so the eyes look realistic. Shape her cheeks and facial lines. What a cute old lady! Who can put an evil curse on you? Use chopsticks to make legs. Cut out a piece about this big. Fill the thighs with hot glue and put the wooden piece in. Do the same for shoes. Fill them in with hot glue. Add wooden sticks and leave them to dry. When the glue dries, paint the doll black from her shoes to her knees. Let's clean her arm. Grandmama's not a slob. <laughs> Use a piece of old fabric to make a robe. Fill it with stuffing. <laughs> Let's make a shawl. Cut a piece of plaid fabric. Pull the threads on the sides and put our new shawl over the robe. <laughs> Mix acrylic paint to make a beige shade and cover the face with it. Color the eyelids blue. I wonder, are those bruises or just trendy eye makeup? Paint the eyes and mismatched pupils. Add brown eyebrows. Use red acrylic paint for the mouth. Just a drop of hot glue and we put a huge wart on the nose. Paint it pink. Use dry pastels to highlight the eyeshadows and to contour the face. Use wool to make the hair. Hot glue clumps of hair to the head. <laughs> on her bracelet and necklace, and our grandmama's ready. She even did her nails. I made such a nutritious soup today. <laughs> it's made out of everything I found on the way to the Adams family's home. It all came in handy. Children, dinner's ready. Get it while it's hot. Now we only need to make Lurch the butler. Cover the head of an old Ken doll with modeling clay. Make a big forehead, a jawline, long chin, and high cheekbones. Shape the eyes and eyebrows. Add a nose and nostrils. Shape a mouth and eyelids. Add a pair of ears and the face is ready. <laughs> Use a utility knife to remove the extra clay and even it out. Cover the upper part of the body with clay. We should paint Lurch zombie colors. Greenish skin is quite common for his kind. Paint the whites of the eyes, blue eyelids, pupils, mouth. When the acrylic paint dries, Use dry pastels to contour the face and the head. Paint a white upside down triangle. This will be his shirt. And use black satin to make a suit. Outline the doll. Cut out the pieces and hot glue them together. Attach the sleeves to the jacket in the same manner. Add a bow tie to the shirt. Use faux fur for Lurch's hair. Or what's left of it. The thing jumped on the tray again. Lurch, could you serve something less sneaky for dessert? This one's about to run away. Lurch, dear, did you bring me the right wine? I asked for low toxicity red wine from an oak barrel. We use the high toxicity wine barrels only for our guests. On the other hand, why not treat myself? Give me the glass! And call the others! 
What a man! Elegant, tall, and such a good listener! I can tell him all my secrets! Grandmama, stop flirting with Lurch! <laughs> the family would be incomplete without Uncle Fester! Take a superhero action figure! Use modeling clay to make a big head! Smooth the surface with your finger! Make two holes with a modeling tool! Use clay to make eyeballs and put them in! Outline the mouth and shape the bottom lip! Uncle Fester's nose is so different from his brother's! Add ears so Fester can hear all the things that go bump in the night! The head's ready! Now it's time for the body! Uncle Fester always wears a long rope with a big collar! Use a white marker to make outlines on a piece of black fabric. Cut holes for arms and try it on. If it fits, connect the pieces with hot glue. Turn it inside out. Hot glue the sleeves to the sides. Don't you dare make me look healthy! Mix white paint with a bit of red. Color the face with a pale white shade. Darken around the eyes and add pupils. Add some pink to the tip of the nose, lips, and nostrils. Uncle Fester has a real poker face. Hot glue a faux fur collar to the coat. Paint the arms white and add fur cuffs. Uncle Fester's not the athletic type. Use some stuffing to make his body a little plumper. Hope the buttons don't pop. Let's add them and find out! Uncle Fester decided to take a walk in the garden! Hmm, where should I try my new explosives? Here you are, Fester! Oh, Gomez! You scared me! Our signature greeting! Fester, it's time for our evening sword fight! Protect yourself if you want to live! Your attention, please, Adam's family! Let's take a picture! Who is your favorite Adam's family member? Comment below and click like! <laughs> Subscribe to Lalalu so you don't miss any of our new videos! Let's start with the pattern! Fold a piece of paper in half and draw the outlines of a dress. Cut the front and the back. Now, let's get some fabric and outline it with a marker. Cut the two pieces out. Hot glue them together. We just need to turn it right side out. Time to try it on. Morticia has a baby bump. Tie a satin ribbon below the chest. Decorate the front with black rhinestones. Morticia doesn't want to be tan. But how can she stay pale if it's so hot outside? Let's make a shawl out of chiffon fabric to protect her pale skin. Use a couple of pieces to make puffy sleeves. Put on the sandals. Oh, cara mia! Do you like them? Not spooky enough. But fluffy pom-poms make them look better. Secure the shawl with an invisible belt. Gomez, I have some news. We are having one more little monster. No, I'm not talking about Uncle Fester. <laughs> oh, cara mia, let's dance. This is the worst news ever. Baby, your daddy Gomez will teach you how to throw knives. <laughs> it's so great to have some me time and a cocktail. <sighs> mom, mom, are you here? Oh, looks like I'll only have peace and quiet in my grave. It's good that we can't hear the ultrasound. The baby would be so loud. Use a pattern to cut bats out of sticker foam paper. Glue on pairs of eyes. Can they blink? Use a sequin and a jump ring to make a pacifier. One bat, two bats. There's a whole flock of them now. I'll put the bats on the gates. My family will love them! Is that a yellow balloon? Yuck! It's so tacky! 
Take butterfly shaped sequins and cut the lower wings so they look more like bats. Put them inside the balloon. Bats like to hide in dark places. Slightly inflate a balloon and paint it black. Let it dry. Paint a white spot and glue a sticker. Write baby. Add a wire and it's done. All the Adams relatives are here to congratulate the Adams family on their new baby. Gomez, pop the balloon and make some noise. So many dead flowers. Thank you. What about the baby? Pour air dry clay into a silicone mold. Smooth it with your fingers. Remove the extra material with a modeling tool and rub some water over the halves. Close the mold and leave it to dry for a day. Voila! What a cute baby! Smooth the attachment points and rough edges. Ma, ma, mustache! Oh, baby said his first word! And already chose a personal style! Make hair out of light clay. Draw eyebrows and pupils with black acrylic paint. Outline the eyes with a fine liner. Draw lips and a thin mustache. Highlight the cheeks and the body with pink dry pastels. What a beautiful baby! He has a dark future ahead of him! <laughs> Wait a minute, it's time for the ritual! Ancient magic from here in. Let this baby's life begin! Yay! A new Adams was born! Look at this mustache! This hairline! <laughs> Gomez, he looks just like you. Cut a diaper pattern out of black foam paper. Secure it with hot glue. Glue ribbon pattern paper with fish skeletons on top. What should I call you, my little monster? I hope this black diaper will last until Grandmama sews some more. <coughs> Take a plastic cup lid and cover it with black acrylic paint. Cut a circle of the same size out of fabric. Glue the fabric to the inside. Don't forget to decorate the outside. A piece of black lace is just the right style. Remove a few metal rods from a head massager. Glue a massager to the other plastic lid. Put the rods through the lace and secure them over the crib. Bend a wire to make a hook for a canopy and a mobile. Add a piece of tool. And Bugs won't bother the baby anymore, unless he wants to be bothered. Still, a mobile sounds like a better toy. Use a metal jump ring and make a loop out of a cord. Look at these hanging decorations. A shovel, a knife, a saw, pliers. Everything the baby needs. Hang the mobile on the jump ring. Great! Huxley will have something to play with. And he'll learn some important skills, too. Lurch is checking the crib. And Grandmama is chanting some sleeping spells. Make a baby bottle. Glue a wooden bead to a plastic one as a lid. Cut a piece of a plastic stick and add it to the top. Paint the bottle white. Choose the right sticker. Now Pugsley will drink from a jack-o'-lantern bottle. Wednesday, bring the milk bottle. <laughs> but we'll only get it next week. Cover a plastic cup lid with fake fur. Paint the inside black. Make a ball out of fur and glue it on. Now the spider's head is in place. These eyes that glow in the dark will remind kids to put away their toys. Pipe cleaners are perfect for spider legs. Bend them one by one and then glue them to the spider's body. It's ready! I wish this spider could move the toys with his legs. 
It's a pity Mom won't let us have a real spider. Let's make a zombie horse. Make two small balls out of modeling clay and attach the neck to the head. Shape the head. Add some muscles and bones that stick out. Insert a wooden stick. Cover the doll with white acrylic paint. Paint the nostrils, the eye sockets, and go over the rest with a half dry brush. Put a decorative hook inside the jaw and pull a bridle through. Add a bead to the bottom part of the stick. Yay! This zombie horse isn't the fastest, but he can scare away all the neighbors. Unless the neighbors moved out already. Pugsley, did you notice that our horse is acting weird? He almost threw me off. I did notice. Even the spider is hissing at everyone today. Looks like I know what the problem is, Pugsley. His power is disturbing the rest of the toys. You were right. Mom can babysit him from now on. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. What a cute little trickster. <laughs> No, he's a gentleman. I hope he inherits your dark magic, Morticia. Enough talking. It's time for a family photo. We need to update our dusty old photo albums. Snap! this video if you had fun with the Adams family today and subscribe to Lalalu and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos <laughs> 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 Ooh.